Let's revisit design thinking. Design thinking draws upon imagination, intuition and systematic reasoning. Ideas need to be translated into solutions that positively impact a large number of users. Only then we call it innovation. So for any product or service to be innovative, it must have scale and reach. Absolutely. And obviously there is a process to this. How does it work? First of all, it is essential that designers empathize deeply with the community of users they are working with. Users need to be observed keenly in their specific context. Once this is done, ideas are generated and turned into mock-ups. These mock-ups evolve into working prototypes. That really sounds like a long journey. But a designer cannot possibly be an expert in so many disciplines. Obviously not. That is the reason why I emphasize that innovation depends on collaboration. When designers lead the process of innovation, they need to collaborate with various stakeholders. Tell us a little more about why you advocate collaboration and think it is so crucial to innovation. Your doctoral thesis is also about this, right? Yes, I learned that innovation works through multiple processes and draws on several skill sets. The transformation of an idea into a solution for a large community of users is obviously possible only when designers, technologists, manufacturers, vendors and experts from a range of domains converge in the process of innovation. So multiple teams must work together in the innovation process. Yes, as you see here, in my collaborative model for innovation, the core team shoulders the full responsibility for innovation. Then comes the enterprise-wide or the support team. And finally, the external team which gives inputs on new research and technology. These three teams together form the innovation ecosystem. Innovation doesn't happen without such an ecosystem, whether it is the industry, small-scale businesses or an NGO.